Hello, and welcome back to Scrap Cake. This is part two of my new sway bar tutorial, my new uh, compact sway bar. In the first part, we built an entire uh, independent suspension, just simple arms and a sway bar, proper steering. If you're coming from that tutorial to this one, feel free to change this up however you want so it has the look you're looking for. Because if I use this for an example, maybe you want arms that look like that instead. So, okay, that's just going to fly there. So, once you are done with this part, and you've got it all how you want, come to part two, which will be this part, I guess, <laughs> which will be the rear axle, which is a solid three link with the sway bar on it. And between these two tutorials, it should give you a decent understanding of how to put sway bars on whatever application you can think of. So what I'm going to do is get the length that I want. So okay, cool. That's where the rear axle goes. Should use a Tacoma wheelbase, but whatever. I'm going to another thing I touched on in the last episode was uh, our last part was how to do a new joint um i highly recommend checking out the first part if you have it so you can get uh so you can see how to make these i also have a standalone tutorial i believe on how to make those but i uh i'm jumping steps here hold on <laughs> I need the axle first. Which is right here. Go. One rear axle. Shoot it all thin. It's the right length for it. Oh, done. There we go. Okay. So from here, we now have to decide whether we want two link, three link. For triangulated, non triangulated, uh, leaf springs don't get sway bars, I don't think, usually. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna go basically exactly like this one, just for sake of the video. Um, as you can see, if I up that one, it straightens the axle back over. Lower it again. That is the purpose of the sway bar. I should have shown that in the first part. But either way, I've already wasted almost four minutes just talking, so here we go. Um the wheel is going to go right here. So this particular design, we need the lower U joint to go in and down. Like so should I go does it go down and down and then I always forget how I do that. Basically the horizontal part gets uh, always goes like this. Mm. That, that looks like so. Like how here the horizontal bearing, the horizontal bar should have a horizontal bearing. If this bearing here, especially in steering, is the wrong way, it can 
cause binding or so on. I've already recorded half the tutorial, so I'm getting kind of tired. Um, can't so free one, I think. One, three, no. And then I did simple fiddle at the top, which I am probably going to slightly change in this design. Do how am I going to do this? So that is to be like so. Oh, Jesus, it's going to be so expensive. As I forget what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it like that, kind of like a truss. I also said in the, um, the first part, there are parts where I'm going to have visible bearings and parts where they are invisible. Anything that's a modular part that I have pre-built, like my joints, I'm using the invisible ones because I'm too lazy to rebuild them right now. But anyways, um, nice thing about this part is I can truss like so, and it makes it look stronger. <laughs> okay. Um, however, I just, uh, messed that up. We'll go like this instead. There we go. Up. It's fine. One thing I did do with this particular suspension is I made the upper length shorter than the lower links. The lower links are three blocks long. Between it's between the hinge, between the bearings. One, two, three. This one's only two. Now under the reason for that is under acceleration, the rear axle wants to rotate this way. So uh, counterclockwise from this perspective. The lower upper or the shorter upper link will help prevent that. So few joints. Mm, and then uh, the chassis rails done. It's set to work on the actual springs. It's sweeper. Once I get these, um, these compact designs figured out. Like, I'd like to still move this down one more. So once I figure out how to do that, um, I'll do another tutorial and make it more compact, less lag, so on. Okay, um, I'm just going to do a tube chassis for this, but I'd like to try and follow this one as much as I can. So that comes out one out there. So that's there. And yeah, it's in line with the spring. It's a good measure, right? In line with the spring. <laughs> okay. Now we bring it back. I'm going to bring it back like so. Somewhere in here, I'm going to bring it up 
and to narrow it. I'm just not sure yet where. Um, I guess I could do it right here. It doesn't look too bad. I'm too lazy to grab the longer, um, longer pipes. <laughs> okay, so it's back. Actually, going to replace that with a cross, four way, and then. Let's bring that back for now, but I gotta replace this part real quick. Okay. Up. Over. So. Yeah, I like that better. Up. Over. So. Uh, this one just comes straight up. Now, slight issue is I need to bring either that up by one or figure out a way like here to get some pipe there. Shouldn't really be a problem. Nope, okay. Bring that to uh, say here, and then put on and actually, you know what, with it being three long on the bottom. I can probably get away with a short gap like this. And then I can just uh, glitch weld it. And then I'll just glitch weld. I can represent where it goes. Um, okay, so I'm going to actually stop chess there, I think. No, 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 no. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring this straight over for sake. Okay, so I'm doing this so I can just finish the rest of the chest. Um, ah, I'll do this first. Okay, so I want to bring the springs down and sway bars down. Means thinking both of these need to angle down like this, but I can get it working. And this is more of a proof of concept than anything right now. It doesn't need to look good. Um. Okay, so. This one, the spring, um, ah, I'll do that. Let's try that. I'm going to put 
one in front of the axle and one behind the axle. That should work. Um, that's just what do I want? Where? Mm, guess I will put. I'm gonna put the springs on the front of the axle, and then sway bar on the back. That should work nice, because then I can tuck it down and under maybe. Back up. Got a couple of joints. I'm surprised it's not lagging more than it is already. Especially with all this other stuff. That's still flying. <laughs> I just realized I could tease everyone watching this video so much right now. And it would be so mean. Just with that one truck. Why won't that go? Wait, if I go, it's... There we go. Okay, so... Hmm. Hmm. There, uh, yeah, that'll work okay. It's the same height as this. How can I get it over? So that would still be... Ah, I know. Aha. Figured it out. Okay. Pipe. Plates. So. Uh, bring it down another block. Without going too much into the uh, crap. Without affecting the ground clearance too much. That one welds back to here. This side. It doesn't want to go on at all. Uh, of course not. Uh. It'd kind of suck for off-road, but you could always just lift it back up. So now I'm trying to think of how I can get that down more, but that's for another time. Okay, um... But this... So... Because it has to do with this whole weird, fancy... Bracket all oh crap so it all flexes properly. Basically, it has to be able to rotate in any axis, or else it'll bind and create a spring glitch, and that's when your car flies away. <laughs> I don't want my car flying away. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's great. How do I do this side? Because that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, this side makes more. That makes more sense. As you go, you slowly learn and remember and forget. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay.
I'm actually going to start this off to the back of that one. Yes. Around to the side tire. So There's people in front of my house it's distracting. <laughs> okay, up. So, and okay, there we go. Now we just need to place the uh, the reverse one. Be done getting the axle attached. <laughs> we gotta work on the sway bar. Okay. This is actually turning out better than I thought it would. Way better. Way more compact. Now, this is drivable, but it's only got a sway bar on the front. And so let's put one on the back. To do this, I'm probably just going to um, do it the exact same as this one. It's literally attached the exact same way as the other spring, except it's a bar instead of instead of reverse springs. So I need two more joints. I need to catch that thing that keeps falling. So <laughs> uh no crap. I'll catch it eventually. Okay. Two I want to get these similar to the other. Yep. And like so. Spring. It's, it's that way. Bearing. Woods plate. There, there. Oh no. Wrong way. Go that way. Boom. Okay. I'm just running out of stuff to say now. <laughs> um. This other one just following along, or if you're building this too, there isn't really much to say. Break it down. So. Add. Um, go down one. So, and that should work perfectly. Back 
Okay, so if elbow can use plates to properly connect it. And then I'm going to put bits like so. Go. Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> um, oh, that's it. Can do what I want as a scrap. There we go. And now we have swayback. Chops the chassis. That one spot still won't work. Oh, there we go. There we are. We now have a independent front with sway bar and a live rear breathing with sway bar. Dude, I can't see why any of this won't work. Famous last words, but I can't see why any of it won't work. Wheels on. Sorry. Minimal. Same with the sway bars because we don't need the sway bars affecting anything quite yet. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay. So, a little bit of weight issue. This is going to work nicely. I got it all done within my time limit that I wanted. I wanted to get both parts done in a month. And we're done. So, let's, uh, let's test it. And then in the next video that I'll make at some point, <laughs> I will, um, make it look better. I'll go through it all, put in the invisible bearings, put a body on it. Okay, so for testing, going to put a heavy blocks in the middle, like so. That they can come up to the back, like so. Then that should have worked, but it didn't. Just something weird going on, that's um, one, two, can't go down. Guess I should finish that little chassis bit that I was doing before. I'm actually going to change it, just like this, for simplicity. Hopefully this fixes that issue.
This should work now. No. Why? Just won't go down. Don't understand. What is actually going to go up? Okay. So it just doesn't want to compress. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because of the sway bar. It's probably because of the sway bar. Okay, anyways. On seats. Stay there for now. Engine. Of course, it's a gas engine. There's no such thing as an electric. Need a controller or a camber. Okay, so this goes to those ones there. The first part. I explained as being camper. <clears throat> I'm talking about uh, whatever. Anyways, that's uh, steering there. And then power to rear wheels. And... For now. Four. Okay. One. Two. Nope, that's the one. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. Go. And then one. Yeah, it just doesn't like sway bar. I'm going to uh, change this for Hard in the research development process. Takes ever. <laughs> Absolutely forever. It does. Yay! It works. That makes me happy. I love it when a new suspension works. Okay, so to tune. Right now, what I'm going to just do quick is flex so. And then okay, 
and then I'm going to up this one by one and one. You can see it doing a little bit. So let's uh, let's see how it handles. Might be able to get some more speed out of it, but I'm not really worried about speed. I want it to handle good. Vehicles and scrap mechanic always go too fast. We need analog input instead of just buttons. Alright. Oh, if I use this view, you can kind of see the sway bar working. One wheel will go up and it'll push up the other one. Down and down. And it bounce around and whatnot. Uh... <laughs> if we try and turn though, it's nice and stable. No roll whatsoever. Add a tiny bit of camber. how much I can safely add before it hits parts. Probably the full 6,000. Yeah, it looks like you can use a full 6 degrees of camber. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Steering works. You can sit down there moving back and forth. Make the suspension cycle properly. The only issue is its leg. It's the only part I hate. Ah! It's the gate. There you go. So, it's a little bit long. The second part I think a fair bit longer than the first, but here we are. Yeah, sway bar tutorial. Sway tut. There we go. So, and I don't really know how to end this one off, but as usual, I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I might upload this to the workshop. If I do, I'll put a link to the description. A link to the description, yeah. I'll put a link to it in the description. And uh, it'll have what mods it needs and whatnot. You can kind of base off it as you build yours, but either way, I hope this video helps. Um, I hope you can now, between these two videos, build your own good, like decent, compact suspension with sway bars and stuff. And yeah, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.